Thai Jiu Jitsu is mostly known for ground fighting, but we also have to be aware of how we deal with our opponents standing up. We have uh, someone over here. What you're going to do is find a partner roughly around your size, height, and weight. Okay, it doesn't have to be. And we're going to give him a little shove. Alright? You give him a little shove and give him a little pull. You have to get used to pushing and pulling, not only just on the ground, but standing up. So grappling is the answer to pushing and pulling. Right? Please don't shove or hit somebody, tempting as it may be. We're just grabbing. You, you take your turns. I'm going to take my opponent, I'm just going to drag him. His job is to stop me by resisting, so he's just resisting. Good. So you, you, see, you see it's kind of hard. Now it's his turn. Grab anything. <coughs> okay, okay. Now we're going to, you can push as well, so you're not just pulling, pushing. Shoving, and he has to resist that. So, and we're playing this game. Pushing, pulling. If he has a gi on, it's fine, you can grab a gi and pull, drive. You have to resist that. You're going to just get used to that push-pull. This will feature again and again and again. At all different positions, all different levels, Miles will get used to now. Oh, introduce yourself as well to your new partner. Okay, guys, so find the partner now, let's go. Yeah. And do the same thing. Look, your, your friend, I was going to say opponent, mm. your friend is sitting down, so sit down in how you like. You are standing up. Now you have to push and pull. So it's my turn to push and pull. And it's his turn. Okay, and what I do is push it. He has to stop me pushing him. And then he's turning and pushing me. So I want you to get used to the concept of different levels. Now we're suddenly into the realm of slightly more realistic grappling scenario. Before, when we were stand up, the world of the boxer, the world of the puncher, the world of the wrestler. Here, this is kind of a weird situation that you may not be used to. This is the world of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Right? The stand up seated position is very common. So let's have a go at that, guys. It's no more simple as pushing and pulling. Let's go. Yeah. Time. Guess what the next exercise is? Yeah. Round on the ground. Now, you have a choice. You don't have to be seated. You could be on your knees, or kind of this weird position, or whatever. Any position where you're not standing up. And we are just pushing and pulling. We get one turn each. So this, don't use your feet to kick and roll with the air. Some of you know the tricks, right? We are just using the power of momentum in our body. So I'm get, have, I have a go on Dion first. And he has a go on me. <laughs> I thought you were going to pull my push. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. That's cool though, because you're not, he's not telling you what he does. So you get more of a sem semblance, more of a reality of what it's like to grapple on the ground without the use of your legs to power up. Whole different world. And what you've experienced, and this is the safest way. Again, safety, please don't punch, push, jab. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. First thing, that was a nice exercise to get you never grappled on the ground before, to get you used to the fact that without the use, full use of your legs on the ground, <coughs> that gravity, without your weight, Trying to uh, get into a confrontation with someone, no matter how friendly, is a whole new different kettle of fish than if you're standing up. So, us Jiu Jitsu purists, we like to think, well, any idiot can punch you because they have the ability to move forward. And once you learn how to move on the ground, um, a little bit more knowledge and savvy, uh, for example, the here. He was a shopkeeper, I stole the mask card from him, and he's going to punch me. <laughs> he's going to punch me, but yeah, because he's the best one in the world, world he's going to get me at some point, because he's just kind of rushing into me. Okay. He is a shopkeeper, but he's always on the ground, for some reason, he likes jiu-jitsu. <laughs> I steal the mask from him, and... Punch me. So, you see, I, I'm already just using a really rubbish guard here. And we'll talk about guard in later weeks. Because of my knowledge of just how to interact on the ground, I have an advantage in terms of what I can do. Please don't steal Mars Mars guys. Not mine anyway. Okay, so the common criticism levelled at Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well, I wouldn't fight on the ground, so it's blood broken bottles, uh, you'll make sure people hit you, that's okay. Absolutely correct. So we have to learn how to deal with someone standing up. Now, uh, I'll this time. 
Uh, one of the skills that we have to learn is how to deal with someone standing up. And we had a little sense of that with the pushing and pulling game, right? Uh, if you already know judo, wrestling, sambo, fantastic, we have a great advantage. This is the advantage. But if you don't, in order for me to grapple with my friend here, I want to get on the ground. I want to get him on the ground so I can apply my skill. I don't want to be standing here because of you know, all my years of experience. I'm not going to last very long because he's bigger, stronger, taller. He can just run into me and shot me into the wall. So we're going to do an exercise where we learn to take somebody to the ground. This will require you to do this. Is everyone happy doing that? This is a little back break. We'll do it as gently as we can, right? First of all, he reaches out to my hand. And you'll see it. I overwrap and grab and take him and move right here. This is all we're going to do for now. He grabs, you do a big circle. So you might be looking at your hand. Grab back. And when your other arm comes into play, you grip behind his elbow. Actually, the tricep is a better place. And you bring the arm not to you, but away from you. Look at his back. And now have his back and hug very tightly. Right, that's all we're going to do for now. Turn the angle so he grips my arm. Traditional martial arts style. Grip my arm, now punch me. <laughs> Circle, right, it's just a drill so we can learn the arm drag. Now you saw there, if your arm gets a little bit entangled, like, like this, that's fine, don't worry, his arm is trapped now. It doesn't matter. If his arm is out of the way, even better for you, you have a much tighter grip on it. And just hold from here and keep holding and just move them around. You're now in the world of punching and you have the ability to take your friend down to the ground. Anybody want to see that technique again? Okay, bring the palm now, let's go. Remember it's the same, it's like a mirror grip. I see some people grabbing here, so if you grab the other arm, that one down. Yeah. And you can't do the arm drag in the same way because it just doesn't work. Um, you have to you the arm drag here. Right. So grab that one. Grab, grab that. Behind the tricep, pull and step here. Hold tightly. Now what we need to do is we're going to lower our hips and just sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. And we'll take an hour and to the ground. Show that to you again, different angle. You grab, this is just a nice exercise to get used to what we call the arm drag here. Grab around the hips. Now notice my head is behind him. So now I come to him. There's a different technique this time. It's behind him. And all we're going to do is look at my feet and trying to join my hips to his hips and I'm just going to sit down the leg that's behind him extends and he won't fall on your leg don't worry about that he'll fall behind your leg since we're doing the falling we can kind of control how we fall if you land here that's fine there are techniques that we'll teach you what to deal with when you both fall and you're equally in this sort of weird position okay so once again this is what I want to do same breath again grab back Arm drag, get into this position here, get close, extend your leg, and they fall to the ground and you kind of fall with it, and I'll show you what to do after that. Everyone understands. What we're going to do is we're going to have two lines, everyone over here. What you're going to do is this, he's going to stand there. Slightly different take down, just fun, there's a lot more detail to it, but I like to teach this because it's an easy one to teach them. And it's like how you stand with the bullies. Stand there, head goes into their belly, one leg here, you grab their legs, and you just keep walking forward. I'll do it sideways so you can see. Right. It's, it's not even really a technique, you just, you know, <laughs> just blast them into them. But there, there is actually a technique. If I can explain the concept, I'm not just going like this. I'm changing levels. Okay, and I'm driving in. And this is kind of like, rather than pulling, this is stopping him stepping backwards. And I just keep walking. He might stagger a few sets, but he's going to go. And we're going to go. We're going to do some ups. Anyone want to see that again? We're all going to have one go each. So your friend is going to stand there. You're going to walk up. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. You have to take the one big step in. You can't do it from here. It's not going to work. You're weak. Structurally weak. Here, you're strong. Already reach. And just keep walking. Okay. You can do a cute little step around that's even better. Are you happy with that guys? What I want you to give at this early stage, what I, usually, what I did last time is do the stand up bit as the last lesson. I'm lulling everyone to a full security mode, just fine with that. You have to deal with the stand up part, and that's quite tough. Um, but you will pick up the skills to be able to then continue your uh, grappling situation on the ground where we can learn techniques. So let's do that, alright? Uh, oh, Steve, actually, if you can just sit with your bum on the ground and your back flat. Say I've just thrown you. Alright? Um, yeah, I could just do that. <laughs> thing, right? We're going to take this in a more technical manner. Your partner will be on the ground like this, and what you're going to do is hug his legs. And your partner's going to just wriggle out. Let's see how long it takes in there. If you want to be extra technical, some of you guys have been training for a while, you can, maybe. Grab the key. Now we're glad. Just watch your fingers when you do so. Be aware that yeah, the legs are stronger than the hands. Most of you just grab below the knee. Below the knee. Hug if you want. Maybe lean back a little and watch your punch. Don't do foot locks. If you know foot locks, please don't do that. <laughs> I was already thinking of foot locks. Don't do foot locks. Just hug. So, simple game. Are you happy with that, guys? Uh, choose a partner and work with them uh, just for a few minutes and we'll move on. Okay, guys, let's go. Look, guys, Andrea just hugged my legs. I can escape. I can escape because I have my hips free. Remember what I said about hips being key to a lot of our techniques? But it's, gonna, it's a struggle. Her job, it, she realises that the hips are the key to me escaping. Her job is to progress from here to it encapsulating my hips as so she just takes side control of the hips. Maybe not the head, just around the hips. She's like half as light as me and I'm finding it a little struggle to escape. Hold my tip. And all she's doing is hugging my hips. Right? Yeah, sure, I can punch, but we're not doing punching, right? <laughs> so I want your partner so having had grabbed the legs, right, you're not struggling to escape yet, just passively move from here to here and hug the hips. Hug the hips. Tuck your head in and put your whole weight on the hips. And then you have to try and escape. Yeah, you can push if you want. Set up all sorts of stuff. You'll find it's, hopefully you'll find it, the, the proof of point that it's a lot harder than if they've to grab the legs. Everyone understand, guys? Let's go. <laughs> so the, the concept I wanted to show you today is when you are grappling on the ground, your principal aim is to control your opponent. Pretty much a lot of what we do is about control. And we'll talk about this next few weeks where we talk about control, position, the position that we put ourselves in to exert that control. But already you see there for a steep. The hierarchy of control. I know that the hips are the centre of his ability to move on the ground. Okay. Uh, if I hug the legs, I get maybe, I neutralise maybe 50% of what I can do, and he'll get out eventually. All he needs to do is to get one foot out, push my shoulder, yeah, and we're struggling, and holding onto one leg is just like, it's, it's not an effective controlling strategy. So having controlled his legs, okay, I can control his hips. The next thing we're going to do is control the top half, because you can see he's moving his shoulders. I want you to move from here, where you're controlling his, his hips, to take your arm and go around his head and move up. And hug chest to chest. Chest to chest. Chest to chest. The arm that's near his head goes under his head. The arm that is uh, under his armpits. And you just, you know when we're hugging your hips, we'll need to take it out, just hand on here. Hug tight, your chest must be in your chest, spread your weight out, and then you ask your opponent to just move you around. You should find it even harder to escape than when you're hugging your hips. 
Everyone want to see that again? Or are you okay? Remember, the arm goes under the head, the other arm goes under his armpit. Clamp it tight, bring it in, chest on chest. And let's see how I know some of you are dying to do this. Okay, so off you go. I've covered a couple of concepts, a number of concepts today. We've got time, so I, uh, I was going to save this to next week, but you might as well have it now as a bonus. Progression and hierarchical position is the key philosophy of, of how we train and what we try to aim for. It's our goal when we, when we spar with grappling. It's related to the old days of a fight scenario where in order to get the upper hand of your opponent, you would try to seek the best position with which to exert your techniques. There's no point fighting someone when you're in a terrible position. Uh, I, when I say fighting, I mean punching, strangling, arm that sort of thing. So the key aim is to find a really good position for us to work from. And since uh, you already discovered that already, that side position where you're hugging the head with the chest on, fantastic position. Uh, as you go through the journey, you'll find yourself stuck there many, many times. <laughs> and sadly, even as a black belt, you still find yourself stuck there many, many times. And it's, escaping from there is really, really hard. And it just goes to prove the efficacy of the hierarchy position. Let's show you another position that um, technically is even better because you get more points for it for being there. Personally, I think the side is, is, is just as strong, but I'm going to show you the mount uh, very soon. So your back is on the ground. Really cool. So this that final thing we're going to do today, we're going to show you a progression of techniques. Right, so you're in this nice chest on chest, honey. come around so you can see those. If, if you, if you, if you, if you. Right, and we're going to make this as simple as we can. To go from side to mouth, there is a lot more detail to come. What we're going to do is we're just going to drop our hip, put our knee, slide our knee across the belly, pivot, always my chest weight is on him, put the leg out here, now we're going to great line here, feet, and we're going to spread arms wide. It's as simple as I can make it, it's how we teach the kids, and they're very good at this. Now I'll show you how to try and escape it. It takes a long time, a lot of energy. He actually knows all the techniques he has. But if you don't know the techniques, um, I should put someone else on you. You show me up. No, I, I'm just kidding. Um, the point being, uh, great line in the legs. Uh, it depends on who you think. Who, who, who you haven't trained with before. Who knows what the purpose of this is, doing this? It's balance. Balance, yeah, balance is important, yeah. I can equally have balance just in here. What this does is when you do this, it allows you to put kicks down into his hips. What did I say about the hips? If you immobilize his hips, it's hard for him to escape from you. So try and try and move your hips. I'm half his weight. I'm applying pressure right here. And that's the purpose of great work. So already I'm showing you a tip. Very simple, easy technique that we show you know, from day one how to pin someone down from there. Want to try it, guys? Just try to break mine and ask your opponent to get out there, okay?